Hey everyone, welcome to YEG Cards. And today we got a bit of a special video here. We got the top 25 cards in my collection. Um, and uh, this is kind of an end of the year uh, recap for the channel. Uh, so this is definitely, this is year one of the channel. And hoping to do, uh, well, many more years of this on the channel, opening cards, hockey breaks, baseball breaks. So yeah, a little bit of the end of the year um, recap. And uh, maybe next year we'll see how this top 25 cards in my collection has changed. So the first, uh, we'll start with number 25 in the collection. And it is this uh, Jack Hughes uh, Artifacts Rookie Auto. So this is actually was a redemption, a number one, room number one. I did actually pull this. I did not purchase this. So um, I pulled this before I started the channel. Uh, and this is a redemption in one of the boxes I had. So this is number 25. And number 24 um, is, uh, well, is, I feel like he, this guy's going to drop off the list pretty soon because his value keeps declining, but it's a lot of left in your young guns. Um, yeah, I'll predict Series 1, 2020, 2021. Uh, number 23, we got Mr. Uh, Joel Faraby, Future Watch Auto, out of 9 99 and uh, his value has definitely gone up since I initially uh, redeemed this card last year. Um, actually, this is probably in 2019 when I... Um, no, it was 2020 when I redeemed this card. So the value has definitely gone up. So uh, number 22, uh, this card was actually pulled on the channel, and it's just Mitch Marner Young Guns. So I did keep this card for now. Um, his value is kind of stagnated. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, I did sell my Austin Matthews graded 9.5 Young Guns a while ago. I was... Not the greatest decision, but they got Mitch Marner nonetheless. So probably grade this soon, uh, but for now, just hang on to it. So folks, this is, is a mix of baseball and hockey. So this is 25, 24, 22, this is number 21, and it is a Aaron Judge, uh, Topps Inception autograph. So this is a rookie auto from 2017, Topps Inception. This is numbered 61 of 199. So this was a redemption. I did, I did purchase this back in 2017. So very nice card there. Uh, this card, well, if you remember, folks, was pulled on the channel, and this is out of our one box of clear cut Jack Hughes embedded endorsements rookie auto out of 99. This is a beautiful card. So you can see it's encased in this sealed, um, well, case. <laughs> uh, very beautiful card. Uh, probably not going to sell that one. That's going right to the New Jersey slash Jack Hughes collection. Number 19. And this is also pulled on the channel. This is Alec Bohm. This is a. Out of 2021 Topps Inception, this is a Silver Signings Rookie Auto. And this was numbered out of 100. So 87 out of 100. A very beautiful card here. I know most of the folks watching this channel are hockey fans. Um, so uh, I guess I'll just have to appreciate these uh, nice baseball hits. <laughs> so number uh, 18 here is a Chris Bryant out of 2017 Topps Inception. This is actually a legendary debut autograph out of 10. So I actually purchased a case of 2017 Top Deception back in 2017, and I pulled this out of my case. So this was definitely a huge hit at the time. Card's kind of gone down in value since, but still very nice Chris Bryant autograph. It's very rare to pull his autographs these days. Okay, so the next card here is an Alex Ovechkin. Honored Hopefuls gave me his relics, uh, dual relics, so it's actually a patch stick. And this is from 2018-2019 uh, Upper Deck Artifacts. So I did not pull this on the channel. I did actually pull this out of a loose pack, if you can believe it. So every now and then I went to my hobby store, bought a pack here and there, and pulled this out of a loose pack. It was, yeah, definitely a monster hit. So very beautiful card there, Alex Ovechkin. Stick patch. Again, another card out of 2018-2019 Upper Deck Artifacts. Um, and I actually did pull this too, if you can believe it, out of a box. Elias Pedersen. Jersey patch rookie auto out of 25. So that's Roman numeral one. So I, I did actually pull this uh, as, yeah, monster. That's probably the best um, bunch of boxes out of artifacts I've ever opened was of the 2018-19 year. So there you go, Elias Pedersen. Jersey patch auto. So this is a, next card is a Pete Alonso. Uh, rookie auto out of 2019 tops chrome graded 10. So that's a pretty, pretty nice card there. Uh, so you can see the subs centering 10, edges 10, surface 10, and the corners are 
Um, actually, these Chrome cards, the, the, usually the hardest thing to grade is the surface. So very nice, Pete Alonso 2019 Tops Chrome. Okay, uh, next card here. Go right back to the Aaron Judge. Of 2017 Tops Inception is an Aaron Judge rookie patch auto out of 50. Um, I did actually pull this out of a loose box, so this was in addition to my case. I was, I'm not gonna lie, folks, I was quite obsessed with this stuff, so I kept buying boxes, but I did actually pull this out of a loose box. So Aaron Judge, uh, RPA there, very nice card. And the next here, we got a bit of a streak of hockey hits. So we got this uh, next card is a Kirby Doc, a Feature Watch Auto. So as, as you've seen my uh, one of my earlier videos, I do have the entire Feature Watch Auto set for 2019-20. So waiting on the Martin February and Ryan Paling autos to come in from the Redemption, but uh, have the entire set. So this one is from that set, Kirby Doc, Feature Watch Auto out of $9.99. Continuing the trend here, next card is an Adam Fox, a Feature Watch Auto, number 392 out of $9.99 for the New York Rangers. Well, sticking with the theme of Future Watch Autos for the New York Rangers, next card here is an Igor Shesterkin. Future Watch Auto, 922 out of 999, Igor Shesterkin for the New York Rangers. All right, folks, switching gears back to baseball briefly, and it's, well, Aaron Judge once again. So this is a 2017 Topps Chrome. Um, so uh, I did actually purchase this back in 2017. Um, and it's uh, more or less maintained its value, gone up slightly, but it's graded 9.5 there, centering 10, edges, corners, and surface in 9.5. So I uh, forgot this in my count, but it's because there's actually no real card of it. It's my Jack Hughes uh, Future Watch Auto that's still being uh, graded by Beckett, so still waiting on that. I do have it, it's 103 out of 9.99, so that is on the list. I think I had it as number 6 or number 7, so I did miss this, so this uh, <laughs> will complete the top 25. I believe this is number eight. If I'm counting correctly, folks. Number eight, here we go. And it is Quinn Hughes, Autograph Future Watch. Number 205 out of 9.99. It's definitely uh, gone up in value, kind of kind of sustained its value as of late, but Quinn Hughes, number eight on the list. Number seven on the list here is another Future Watch Auto and it is Nick Suzuki. Uh, 725 out of 999 Nick Suzuki Future Watch Auto for the Canadians. So um, this card's actually yeah gone up quite a bit in value since I purchased this card. All right, well, next one here. Uh, I did pull this on the channel. No, I lied. I uh, This was actually my good luck charm on the channel when it first started. This is a card I purchased. This is the Jack Hughes Rookie Patch Auto um, uh, from, from Upper Deck Premier. So that is, a, that is a pretty awesome card. I love this card here. This is out of nine. This is out of 99. 1899, uh, Jack Hughes. All right, folks, come down to it here. So this is card number five of the list, and it's a Kale McCarr, Future Watch Auto out of 999. It's a very nice card here. A lot of these, um, you know, cards probably in the top 10, even top five, I am looking to grade if they aren't graded already. So definitely looking to grade this card. Probably send that into Beckett in, uh, pretty soon here. Uh, the next card here was pulled on the channel, and this was out of our second box of the cup and it is this Jack Hughes actually it was a one of one autograph printing plate and it's actually of this card As you can see it's the mirror image so yeah go check that video I'll maybe put a link in the channel to it it's one of my earlier videos so but yeah what an insane pull this was on card auto one of one as you can see um and I believe this is uh yeah I don't know if it's magenta or whatever the heck uh this, oh, right there, magenta printing plate, Jack Hughes on card auto. All right, folks, um, so these last three cards, fortunately, I did not pull any of these on the channel. I did already own them. Um, this one I did pull um, before I had the channel, but I did pull it out of a box I bought. And it's a Connor McDavid, Sign of the Times. Um, so you probably saw this card when I sh featured my 2019-2020 Upper Deck Future Watch, or Upper Deck SP Authentic set or collection. So I, this was in there. A sign of the Times uh, inscribed out of 49, a uh, black. Connor McDavid, Sign of the Times. So it's a very beautiful card there. Well, number two is this. Connor McDavid. Um, this is from 2015-16. It's the infamous Connor McDavid Young Guns here from Series 1. So pretty decent grades there. 9.5, got a surface 10, and then three nine fives are centering edges and corners. So it's my only Connor McDavid Young graded Young Guns. Um, and yeah, that makes number two in the spot. Number one, 
Well, I'm going to apologize in advance. Sorry, folks. It is not a hockey card, but it is a baseball card. And the folks who are familiar with this player and familiar with baseball know the value of this card. But this is a Fernando Tatis Jr. 2019 Topps Chrome Rookie Autograph Blue Refractor graded 10. And I did actually pull this out of a jumbo box um, that, that I did purchase. So this is a, this is a monster hit here. Um, it's... Uh, I mean, I know the values kind of come down over the, you know, the craze of 2021 of sports cards values, but, you know, I'm, this is, I think, easily a $10,000 card here, but uh, this is number to 150. Um, yeah, 2019 Topps Chrome. Fernando Tatis Jr. Blue Refactor. All right, folks, well, there you have it. Those are the top 25 cards um, of my collection. I do a lot of buying and selling, so some of the cards I did pull on the channel, I did already liquidate, uh, like the uh, Elias Sorokin Gold Wave uh, or Gold Refractor. Um, from uh, 2021 PG Platinum. And uh, so I do a lot of buying and selling, but these are the cards currently in my set. And uh, yeah, this is kind of the annual recap for the channel. So I hope everyone enjoyed that. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I do really appreciate everyone's support uh, for YEG cards in 2021. And you know, let's, uh, let's, keep, let's keep it going, folks, in 2022. Here's to a good year, folks. Take care and please enjoy the rest of your day.